we ain't got nothing to give you anyway but these scriptures, bro. Oh, shut up, you punk. We're trying to fill you up right here. Yeah, why you got get everything? That's why I ain't dap you up, you little midget. I always stomp your little leprechaun ass. Yeah, because you just wanted something, man. You want real, you want sincere, you're not a good person. They're always at me lucky like charms. So you can't be nice to people no more, man. Every, you can't be nice to people That's no another demon. More, man. Look, another demon. One demon, <laughs> then another demon, then another damn demon, then another they demon. They slither up on you deceitfully as hell, man. And, they each, slither. and all of them asking for something. And too. you said that. <laughs> he he asking us for a dollar. One dude I just has us for a CD. I'm like, I seen him running across the street. I knew he was coming over I here. Have told you Say they want. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm talking. This ain't the ATM. <laughs> we ain't doing the we ain't the average Christian out handing out sandwiches. <laughs> Shit. And he was like, I'm hungry. Quick to give you a motherfucking $40 <laughs> dollar. Here, let me get that in the square hypography, bro. Yeah, he gave it I mean, we had more real bums than that come out. We had some bums out here to, to listen to us teach for like two hours before they asked for money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> make you know. Them, Walk away disappointed as a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, damn! <laughs> oh my god. Like, dude, I get, like. Man. He just straight up ass. I, I need a dollar. And it's not because cause I'm real truth to IRC, that fucking double worshiper. He made a video of someone is refusing to give someone money. Hey, hey, motherfucker, we don't have money. We don't have shit. Because you think we don't want to help people. We don't. Look, even if I did have money, look, I probably wouldn't help him. I might help somebody every once in a while. You know, because I do do that. If I have change, if I see someone's spirit, because I read their spirit. You want some sandwiches? Go to Peraza. Yeah, go to Peraza. We don't have shit to give nobody. All we have to give you is truth. That's so, right. Here you go, bro. We barely got enough food to eat ourselves. You know what I'm thinking? Ecclesiastes 13, 12, and I'm going to start at the top. When thou wilt do good, know whom thou doeth it. So yeah, sure. yeah, know who you doing good to. You just don't, just like these jackass Christians, they should just go help everybody. That's funny though, man. When thou wilt do good, knoweth to whom thou doeth it. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Yeah, so you be thanked for it. So yeah, because a lot of people, they just take advantage of you. Like, this guy's giving out free stuff. Let's go take advantage of him. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then they, they do it over. They They're shit. like a wild animal. Like when you go to the zoo, it says don't feed the bears or whatever. Or you know, when you go to the forest, don't feed the bears. Right. That's how these food. Yeah, the urban like Myers. Bears. You don't yeah, feed them. So what you when they you feed them, when, when these scraggly motherfuckers, you feed them and shit, they keep coming back like a wild mm -hmm. animal. You know what I mean? And they ain't trying to do no good for you. All they just want to use you. That's it. So you got you got to use common sense, man. That's it. At some point in time, common sense got to come into play. That's right. Keep going. Do good to the godly man. So do good to the godly man. And godly doesn't mean someone you seen come out of a church. That means somebody that's doing what believes what we believe and teaches the truth the right way. Keep going. And thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, get from the most high. Yeah, so you ain't got... Don't... Yeah, because... If, if you do something good for somebody, uh, uh, five years later, he might come back, he might hit it big, you know what I'm saying? He might get rich, and he might buy you something, you know what I mean? That's how it works, but you, that's not why you help him, though. You don't help him thinking in the back of your mind, oh. There goes your boy again. Down the line, he's gonna hook me up. You know? The guy with the backpack. Oh, he went around. <laughs> oh, man. Stay away from me. I don't want to see I no more. piece of shit come back. I want to curse him out. Oh, which one was that? The, um, the, the, the guy's cousin. Oh, Shakespeare. Othello. Othello. <laughs> you know, Othello. Othello. Well, Othello, Othello. Othello was black. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Oh, yeah. So these damn demons, they are occupied in evil, man. Like, dude come up smelling like alcohol, talking about he's not trying smell to get a like drink. Anheuser-Busch. Yeah, it smell like, <laughs> it smell like the factory. <laughs> That's where I live, up that yeah, way. Yeah, he smell like the brewery. Right. Like this motherfucker distilling liquor right there in his front pocket. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nor to him that giveth no alms. Yeah, so because these people, these people come up always asking you for stuff, they're, they're not even helping people themselves. Mm -hmm. They're just takers and taking, 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 but they don't Heckers. give. Just fucking constantly begging. They're just always begging. So South Park made a, uh, a, a special on that. Bums begging. 
and it, and it, and it became like a cancer, an epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, that really that's on a grander scale. That's what a, the whole country of America is a country of beggars now. Pretty much. Because, you know, the, half the country's on damn food stamps. God, they they said a phone. record number of people bought their Thanksgiving food with food stamps. That's nuts. Record numbers. And that's all by design, too, because they yeah. don't want you having your... Because I'm not going to say you need to get a job, because they don't want you making having businesses. They don't want you making no money. They want you to be totally, de totally on yeah, dependent on the government. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. So we're not even supposed to help sinners. If somebody's not doing the truth, and they're not even attempting to do the right thing, you're not supposed to help them whatsoever. You know what I mean? It says, do not, let me read that again, man. Cause that's why, that's why that dude came up and asked us for money. We knew he was full of shit. As soon as he came up. And that's why he's like, we're forbidden. We can't give you no money. We're, we're not allowed, we're not permitted. Read that again. And this is that scripture. That doesn't allow us, that tells us we can't give to the sinner. Read it. Uh, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Because when you give to a sinner, you're just encouraging him to continue on being wicked. You're just encouraging him to be wicked. That's all you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, you, you, man, these people are hard headed. You got to be mean to You got to be mean to them. That's why the scripture said the Lord was an austere man. You can't be nice with these jackasses, man. These, these people are savages. You can't be nice to a bunch of savages. I got a precept to this too. Uh, Tobik, Tobik 4 and 17. Man, you see how, we got it on camera. You seen them savages come up here and the way they talk to us. Each last one was a savage, a demon, a fucking barbarian. You know what I mean? This is bad too, check this out. Tobik 4 and 17. Motherfuckers are uncivilized. <laughs> right. Pour out thy bread on the burial of the just, but give nothing to the wicked. You give nothing to the wicked. You ain't gonna give the wicked shit. Like why you want when you give the why you wanna help the wicked, you want that means you want wicked to flourish on the earth. Every time you help the wicked, you just praying for more wickedness to come. Only a dumbass would do that. Well people like, why are you supposed to love your enemy? Well, that, well, loving your enemy doesn't mean that helping build a business and helping spread Satanism throughout the planet Earth. That's not what that means. That means don't be a demon yourself and treat others as you want to be treated. That's what that means. That's some common sense shit, man. People don't have common sense, man. They lack common sense. So a lot of people, the Lord just deprived them of common sense and you just turn them over to a reprobate spirit, man. Reprobate, that's right. And the scriptures speak about the reprobate. And there's a lot of reprobates out here, a lot of degenerate souls. Oh, go ahead. You got more to that? Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. So we ain't gonna help out the ungodly. We're not gonna give anything to the sinner. Hold we, back thy bread. We ain't gonna give you no food. We're not gonna give you no money. We ain't gonna give you no place to stay. Mm. Keep going. That's right. And give it not unto him. That, you know they're not gonna give it to us, but we are. I mean, we see a brother that's really. We look out for each other. We, you know. We try our best. Right. You know. We, right. If we can. Right. I mean, fuck, we're fucked. We're, all of us, right? We're all fucked, man. Until the Lord comes back to save us, we're not living in no good predicament right now. Like, yeah, I can't even feed my damn self. But like, you're supposed to help your brothers. And your brother, the only people that's your brothers are the one that's in the truth. So fuck everybody else. The scripture said, love not the world. Hold you know? back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he over. Master thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive what? twice. Read, read that part again. Now, that's a key point right there. My fault. Uh, that's all. I got it. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. At least he overmaster thee. That means he's going to take advantage of you. So when, when you help out the wicked all the time, they keep coming back, taking advantage of you. Next, so the next time they come, they're going to take twice as much as they did the first time. And, when, and the more they keep coming back, they're going to take more and more. And sooner or later, they're just going to kill you yeah. and take everything you have. Right, that's bad because it says over master. So over, yeah. each time they come back, their words change. Oh, you're such a goodly man. You yep. know, you're such a godly. You know what I mean? And, Every, then, and then after a while, you, you, you turn into their bitch. Yep, and then right. they got you in check and then they own you. There you go. So, so you got to be smart. You can't be, you know, trying to use that scripture, love thy enemy. That's right. Taking that out of context, way out of context, okay? 
for else. You got, you got, you can't let people take advantage of you and let people do the kind of. Like I said, motherfuckers will turn you into your bitch if you let them take advantage of you. Just like you go in prison, you see it in prison. Keep going. For else, thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shall have done unto him. Yeah, because really that's a punishment. The Most High would jack you up for helping out the wicked like that. You know what I mean? For the Most High hated sinners. The Most High hates sinners. Oh, well, people always want to say, uh, and read that scripture number out, just so for the camera. Oh, okay. Ecclesiastes 12 and 5. Okay, so that's for people who try to say, oh, uh, God just uh, oh, hates. Please, that's, that's 5 and 12 and 6. 12 okay, six, 12 and slide, 6. Slide. 12 and 6. So, the, so that's the scripture for all the people to say, there's a famous Christian saying, they'll say, uh, God hates the sinner, but he, no, 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 no. He hates, he hates the sin, not the sinner. <laughs> right. Ain't trying to say God <laughs> hates, do, the, don't he? hates the sin, not the sinner. That's a popular saying. They, I hear it on TV all the time. All the famous preachers say it. Read that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 6. For the Most High hateth sinners. So the Bible said God hates sinners. It's clear. So all these Christians, all these fake preachers saying, oh, God just hates the sin, not the sinner. That's a lie. That's not in the Bible. I'll uh, read it again. For the Most High hateth sinners. For the Lord hates sinners. Eating pork's a sin. Committing adultery's a sin. Celebrating Thanksgiving's a sin. Celebrating Christmas is a sin. Well, that dude hurt him. You know, that's why I saw a dude was walking right there. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Well, that punishment's coming. You can't escape that judgment, that swift judgment. That's what's coming. So the Lord's about to judge the earth. The scriptures say the day shall come when the Lord shall judge the earth. Mm -hmm. That's in the Ezra's. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give to the good. We're going to help our brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, Fuck say, the fuck the world. Hey. You know what I mean? That's how we roll, man. I got a scripture to back that up. It's the curse out of damn demon day. Right. I really got a bad, man. I, I knew this day was something like this. I just had that feeling, man. I yeah. just had that feeling. I don't really like cursing people. I like them. I want to teach people. Right. I like, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes the Lord don't want people to be taught. Sometimes the Lord, he needs you out here to curse people out. Right. You know what I'm I saying? I knew it because people like to defend their wickedness, man. Right. The, the Lord will use us just to curse certain people out. He used us to curse out Jim Trestle, the ex-football coach that one day. Where are we cursing? I can't believe we actually got to do that. You know, that's through the spirit of the Lord. That's how the spirit is. He, let us, he gives us little treats. They probably told Urban Myers to steer clear of us. <laughs> I mean, how long, man, is Israel going to keep going off just like past time? We fuck up and the Lord forgive us. We go to fucking up again. Lord forgive us. Fuck up again. The Lord keep forgiving us, man. That's why he's a he's a Lord of tender mercies. But this time, two thirds of y'all motherfuckers are about to get um um uh, boiled, <laughs> evaporated, boiled. Cooked, some some of, them, some of them will get boiled, flayed alive. You can get your share in that oven. You can get your foot in that oven. Shit, we should get some oven scripture. Yeah, that sounds good to me. That's why, I, why these people need death. Two thirds of Israel need death for sure. Mm. They sure the fuck do. You motherfucker come up saying, you I can't call them women bitches, motherfucker. I swear, man. Man, I saw these people just need punched in their face. They need, some people just need hit in the face with a sledgehammer. You know what I'm saying? Like some bitches come up running the mouth. I'm gonna just pour up like acid on them. But I'm not gonna do that. Not yet. First, what's the second John? Uh, oh, look, here we go. I got uh, second John 10. There's only one chapter. Second John 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. I don't know what your boy Othello was bringing, man. And neither bid him God speed. So we, if someone comes up here saying something different than what we're saying, we're not supposed to get along with them. We're not supposed to be friends with them. We're not supposed to agree with them. We're not supposed to dap them up, say, what's up, bro? What's up, all oh, peace, know, bro? You know. We're not supposed to say peace when they leave. 
You know what I mean? We're not supposed to bid them peace. We're not supposed to bid them Godspeed. We're Excuse supposed to me. bid them destruction. Can I ask you a question? He, he was a part of your song. He said he was a part of the choir. He said, yeah, he was a weirdo, man. I, I knew from the jump. You can just, you know, Big just fuck. look at people, man. Just. It's a fucking, that's why I'm talking about it. I can see your whole spiritual aura. You're a fucking weirdo. Uh, let me uh, said for let me read this again. If there come any unto you, bring not his doctrine, receive him not to your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. So if you if one of these demons come up here saying uh, the Bible's a book of fairy tales, there's some bullshit, and then if you say peace to them when they leave, the Lord's gonna fuck you up for that, man. You ain't supposed to bid him farewell. You know, farewell means hope you fare well. <laughs> you ain't supposed to say no kind of nice words to him, okay? Right. No, because you just, when, when you be nice to the devil, that means you become the devil. That's right. Except for he that bid him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. Uh, Yeah, that's, that's the point on that. You got anything you want to? I can get another one too. Oh, here you go. Judges 2 and 1. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bachum and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I'm on the I land will, of Israel. Keep going. I would never break my covenant with you. So the Lord said, I would never, never break my covenant with you. Keep going. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. So yeah, you're not supposed to make no kind of a contracts, uh, agreements with any of these heathens, any of these uh, other nations. Keep going. Um, so that's, you, that's, that, oh, my fault. That's like on Christmas. Christmas is not a, uh, an Israelite custom. That's not a biblical holiday or a biblical holy day. It's not in the Bible. So when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you, you join in hands with the other nations and you're following after the other nations following after the heathen. The uh, Jeremiah 10th chapter said, learn not the ways of the heathen. Mm, that's bad. Learn not the ways of the heathen. That just speaks volumes if you look at it, man. It, it just does. speaks volumes. You know. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. That goes right into it. By the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that ye all speak the same thing. So we all speak the same thing. Keep going. And that there be no divisions among you but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That motherfucker. Yes, yeah, so that's why we all got to say the same thing. So why we go, we can't be in a congregation with other people. They say, well, we believe in the Bible too, but we like, we celebrate Christmas <laughs> and Thanksgiving. So we're not going to join forces with y'all. The scriptures is very clear. We're supposed to steer clear of you. We're supposed to get away from you. If you celebrate Christmas, man, you look, you're not you're not into the Bible, okay? You're not following the, what's written in this book. You, know, you got some other book, okay? Because that's not in here. Christmas ain't in the Bible. Thanksgiving's not in the Bible. Easter's not in the Bible. None of this shit's in the Bible. Y'all want to continue to celebrate some goddamn pagan unholy days. This is a damn disgrace. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You can't make it up, man. I mean, <clears throat> Christmas is the most pagan and most satanic of all the other whole unholy days, okay? Because on Christmas, you put a tree. Hey, let's get that script for Christmas tree. You, uh, you ain't got to. You I got something else too. Okay, because it all goes together. Because that, that's that Jeremiah 10 we just quoted. Learn how to raise it here. So that goes in good with it. The spirit bringing it out. Uh, but if you celebrate Christmas, when you put a Christmas tree in your house and you decorate it, that's ancient paganism. Why you put a tree in your house? I mean, the Celtics, they worship the tree. Don't you know the word druid? You know the word druid mm. comes from the Celtic word for tree? Mm. You know, like Celtic druid, they sacrifice children and sacrifice humans. The word druid comes from the Celtic word for tree, okay? Because the tree is, is the, the heart of all paganism, mm. okay? And plus that tree, what that tree really represents is that tree that was in the garden of Eden. And when the, the Most High commanded Adam and Eve, he said, 
do not eat of that fruit on that tree, because when you do, ye shall surely die. Mm. That's that forbidden fruit. That's right. Okay? So that's why when you put a Christmas tree in your house and you put on little balls on it, those little balls, they're all shiny too. Those balls represent that forbidden fruit. That's why they're so pretty and shiny. You notice that for you wonder why you got balls. It's like little apples hanging from your tree. It represents little fruits. So when you put a Christmas tree in your house, you're worshiping the devil. And you're giving praises to the day that the serpent in the garden gave that fruit to Eve. And you, you're thanking the devil, like, thank you, Satan, for giving that fruit to Eve. Thank you, hell, Satan. That's what you're saying. The best believe this year, man, just like every other year. We pray that your house burn down any motherfucking way. Yeah, that's why houses do be burning down in Christmas time. Mm -hmm. you, you putting a fuck, first of all, what do you think? You got a tree in your fucking house. You ever notice that it's always the father escape or he ain't nowhere around, a but it's the, the mom and the kids that die. Because usually the father's spirit's not with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. and usually the father's totally against Christmas. It's always, the, it's always the woman, like we was talking earlier. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Man, don't call no woman no B. Oh, uh, yeah. But that is part of that lust of the flesh and the, the, uh, the lust of the eyes. All that Christmas decorating, that's the lust of the eyes. Like when the serpent in the garden brought that fruit to Eve, her eyes were like, oh, that's that lust of the eyes. And then she wanted to eat it. Well, it wasn't an actual fruit. She fell that, for the okie doke. Yeah, she fell for the okie doke. Because <laughs> that fruit represents wicked ideologies and wicked ways of thinking. That's right. You know what I mean? Like adultery. Like adultery. Uh, worship, astrology, uh, uh, ancient uh, witchcraft rituals. I mean, you know, kind of sick shit, man. Right, right. You can go on forever with that. Too. Yeah, I mean, that fruit is endless. There's anything wicked you can think, that's that fruit. Yep. So when you celebrate Christmas, you got you got the tree of the uh, uh, the knowledge of good and evil with the forbidden fruit hanging on it. Oh, and then they got presents underneath the tree. So y'all saying that that, 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 that tree uh, yields presents mm. and gives you gifts. Mm. They saying that that tree that the Lord commanded you. I'm going to get that scripture. Mm -hmm. The Lord commanded you not to eat that fruit. And then y'all saying it's a gift, and you got gifts underneath the tree of the devil. Like the Lord changed his mind and shit. These people are gone. These people are But crazy, when you man. really look into that symbology, man, some evil. That's some wicked shit. That's yeah. some wicked shit, man. Yeah. And these motherfuckers are so gone, they don't want to hear it. Like I said, if, I, if I'm on my mom's house or anybody's house, and I try to give them the scripture and tell them the ways of the Lord, they get mad at me. And I'm the enemy. Oh, go ahead. What do you got? Jeremiah. Go ahead. Go. Okay, Jeremiah 10, start at the top. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Let me read that again. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the ax. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with, the, with nails and with hammers that it move not. That's that Christmas tree. That's what they do. They this put is a, so explanatory. So. I mean, it's self-explanatory. They put the silver and gold on the tree, and then they put the little fruits on there too, you know? Mm. But I got a scripture to back that up. And this is the first commandment in the Bible right here, man. Uh, it's the first thing the Lord commanded Adam, right? Right, right. He said, uh, let me see. I'm going to just start at Genesis. Sometimes you got to go back to Genesis. Genesis 2 and 15. And the Lord God took the man, which is the Adam, and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in that day thou shalt eat it thereof thou shalt surely die so what's that talking about that's that goes back to that tree that christmas tree that represents that tree that you're not supposed to eat that all these stupid ass bitches got christmas trees in their fucking houses Bitches need punching your damn face, That's man. Right. That's right. We're gonna worship Satan. That's what it is, man. The worshiping of the devil. 
But that's why he just read in Jeremiah and said, learn not the ways of the heathen. Only a damn heathen will put a Christmas tree in their house. Only a heathen would do some shit like that. A fucking heathen. If, if, if it was at any other time of the year, say if I was a little boy, and if it wasn't Christmas time, let's say it was in the middle of the summer, if I bought a, brought a tree into that house, your mom would be like, get that shit out of my house. Get all them bugs and stuff up in here. Oh, but on Christmas, it's different. Oh, it's different now. It's different. A bunch of damn devil worshipers, man. If you, were, if you celebrate Christmas, man, you worship Satan. You're in the clutches of Satan. Satan's got you, man. Satan got, he's got a hold on you. You know what I'm saying? Satan got you in a camel clutch. If you, he got you in the, what's the figure the four? The rare naked. The rear, well, all that shit, the rear, the guillotine, all that. What's the other one? The flying arm bar, all that shit. Got you in the he's crucifix. He's got you in Satan's clutches, man. He's got you. You on his side. Trust me. Okay, but that's why we, that's why we make these videos. That's why we teach people. And so we can save people from the clutches. Don't we ain't gonna save the Lord. The Lord's gonna save them. You know what I'm saying? So we can, so the Lord's going to use us to wake brothers up to save them from the clutches of Satan. You know what I'm saying? If you celebrate Christmas, man, you're lost, man. You're fucking spiritually fucking lost. <laughs> I got scripture. Isaiah 41 and 28. For I beheld, and there was no man, even among them, and there was no counselor that, when I asked of them, could answer a word. Behold, they are all vanity, their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. Yeah, so they held your Thanksgiving decorations, all your little turkeys all over the place. Got a big old picture of the Caesar Bozier above the table. Got the, 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 prayer, the folded hand, what's that, the praying hands pictures? They got the praying hand, everybody got them in their house, everybody's grandma. And if they do the praying hands, the picture's like this, but on the bottom of the hand's always like this. Right, right. Because it represents the pussy. If you notice the praying hands picture, that's called the Vesica Pisces. That's, that's right. And, it, and it's, it represents the pussy. Not, none of the praying hands pictures are like this with the hands closed. They all got a little opening at the bottom. You know, that goes back, that goes back into the molten images. Everybody got to have a stupid ass praying hands picture and a Caesar Bozier picture and a little pictures of naked angels and little statues and naked angels all over the damn place. Man, little angels, naked balls hanging down, playing a uh, playing a lyre, naked, playing naked. a flute, got <laughs> wings. And plus the angels be like little babies too, little naked children. Mm -hmm. Man, what well, that's goddamn pedophilia. They got naked, ba you ever watch, look at Renaissance art. Go look at some Renaissance art. Be a bunch of naked angel babies flying oh, around. Oh, remember naked. that statue downtown at State House that had a little tiny ass kid all naked, naked. with his dad? Got his balls showing. <laughs> and his dad's ass was showing. Like, damn, only the damn sick, devil sick would do shit, something man. like that, man. That's some sick shit. Here you go. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 4. For neither did the mischievous inventions of men deceive us. Yeah, so yeah, that's a, a mischievous invention of man is Thanksgiving. <laughs> and Christmas, that's mischievous. And it is very, like we just proved to you that Christmas is evil, is the Satanist, it's, a, a, it's paganism. So that's the mischievous shit to trick people into thinking that's Christ's birthday. That's, right. that's mischievousness. Keep going. Nor an image spotted with everybody, divers colors. Because really everybody, they celebrate Christmas because they think that's Jesus' birthday. That's right. That's why they do it. But why, why, what the hell does a tree have to do with Jesus? I don't know. We just put it in there. Right. It's just cute for the kids. Yeah, we just been doing it for hundreds yeah, of the years. The Bible specifically says not to do it. Fuck those brain dead zombies, man. Keep going. Stupid. Nor an image spotted with diverse colors. The paintings. Oh, an image with diverse colors. It is. Like, where they going? The Christmas tree is an image, too. We I mean, all colored plus. Like all the little statues they got. Keep going. The painter's fruitless labor. Oh, plus when you go to a lot of these churches, when you go to a lot of these churches, they have the giant stained glass windows. They're all magnificent looking, got like a billion colors, it's real beautiful. And a lot of it's really good artwork. But the, just cause you got some nice looking windows don't mean the Lord's up in there. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. The sight whereof entices fools 
Yeah, that entices fools, man. So that goes back to the lust of the, 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 the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. People always lust after what they can see and touch. You know what I'm saying? What's the spirit bring? They always people people only depend on their five senses. That's they right. don't never uh, d uh, depend on that spiritual sense. Keep going. The sight we're of. Oh yeah, yeah like they do Lennon LaRouche. People only depend on uh, sense perception. Yeah. Keep going. The sight we're of enticeth fools to lust <coughs> after it. Yeah, it's only a goddamn fool gonna you know, lust after a Christmas tree or Christmas presents or a uh, honey baked ham on turkey or uh, all that bullshit. Keep going. And so they desire the form of a dead image that has no breath. Yeah, that, that Christmas tree ain't got no breath. Why are you putting that in your house? That's an idol. Get it out. The scripture, actually the Christmas tree is also known as a grove and a share grove. That goes back, it's Baal worship. So the scriptures say you're supposed to burn the groves. The Bible literally commands you to burn those Christmas trees. Burn them. Get them out your house and burn them. They're going to burn you. Betty Road, OFU, two downtown. Yeah, he can't wait to get home to, you know what I mean, getting them presents from. Oh, now they about to put the tree up tonight. After Thanksgiving, they ate all that pork, committed all kind of abominations. They gonna eat all that pork, and then they gonna go set up that Christmas tree. And go bow down to Satan. That's what y'all gonna do. You going? Like I said, the word, the word druid, Y'all need to, if y'all know what a druid is, y'all watching this, go Google druid. Because the druids, they, they used to sacrifice people on That's trees. That's bad history when you read that shit. Bro. They make it, they make a sacrifice to Odin or something on a tree. You know? Or the Norse. Well, I'm going back and forth between cultures, but I'm, go ahead. Because it's all the same shit, no matter what culture you're talking about, they all worship the same shit. It all goes back to ancient Babylon. Keep going. Okay. Both they that make them, they that desire them, and they that worship them are lovers of evil things. Yeah, man, like you lovers of evil things. You got that pride of the flesh, the pride of the eyes, or the, the lust of the eyes. You, you just, like these women are so into dec putting up Christmas decorations. They then they get the husband, they force him to go risk his life to go on the roof and put up some goddamn Christmas lights. Man, that shit is dangerous. It's dangerous as fuck. Yeah, you ain't gonna see me on no roof, risking my life, put up no goddamn Christmas bulbs. Well, actually, like what I was saying before, when we as little kids, we well, little children, I'm not, a, I wasn't a kid. Actually, I was. They try to sacrifice. A kid is a baby goat, man. So that's one of the tricks of the English language. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A kid's a baby goat. But when I was a child, we used to skip school. We used to go through the neighborhood. And we used to uh, tear up the Christmas decorations. We seen Christmas bulbs, we shatter the bulbs, we break them. The, we seen a Santa Claus statue, we kick him in the face, we throw him across the street, we break it. We break the little reindeers, the little Rudolphs. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, and the Rudolph, the deer, that goes back to the worship of our Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, okay? That's, what, that's where that deer comes from. It's paganism too. Keep going. They that desire them and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. For the potter tempted soft earth, fashioneth every vessel with much labor for our service, yea, of the same clay. He maketh both the vessels that serve for clean, clean uses and likewise also all such as serve to the contrary. But what is the use of either sort? The potter himself is the judge. Um, I'm going to jump down to um, 13. For this man that of earthly matter maketh brittle vessels of graven images knoweth himself to offend above all others. And all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish and are more miserable than that's, very babes. That's like the miserable, like, these women are miserable. Look at these women that's all to the uh, idol worship. The same ones got the crosses hanging from their neck, got a Christmas tree in their house, got idol worshiping everywhere. Mm. And, and then they fat as hell, 
you know, got all kind of health problems. Go and they miserable. The and all of them hate their life. On antidepressants. Yeah, on right, antidepressants. Right, right, right. They don't have five different baby daddies. And they're miserable. That's why the scriptures say they're miserable. Yeah, that antidepressant shit is common amongst these people, man. All these women are on that shit. For they count, they, for they counted all the idols of their heathen, of the heathen to be gods, which neither have the use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers of hands to handle. And as for their feet, yeah, so they are slow to go. So why do y'all put a Christmas tree in your house? Think like a Christmas tree got some kind of magical powers. We teaching the Bible. We telling telling everybody that Christmas is evil, Thanksgiving's evil, America's going to be destroyed. God's going to destroy America. Y'all out here? You out here? You just heard it. We just told you. <laughs> yeah, we praise the Lord for that. He said, "Do you cuss?" Yeah. I hope you don't watch rated R movies. <laughs> People are crazy, man. He said, "Why well, ain't nobody he said, out he here?" He said, "I know about y'all. Y'all cuss too, don't you?" Yeah. He said, "Nobody out here." Yeah, he's out here. <laughs> this is funny, man. Oh man, I hope them demons don't come over here. These people are clowns. Oh, uh, here, look, I got a scripture to go with you. Cause these people, they always want, they, they want to make them mad at us for cussing. Saying, they, they get mad at us for cussing, but they celebrate goddamn Christmas. Thanksgiving, Halloween. Christmas is the high holy day of Satan. It's pagan. Do you know, you ever hear of Saturnalia? Do you know what Saturnalia is? The ancient Romans celebrated Saturnalia during the time of Christmas and they worship Saturn. So Christmas is a, a astrological date. So worshiping of the planet Saturn. This time of year is just a bunch of dumb bitches, man. Well, check this out. But this is why these people really like, uh, well, it's okay, because Jesus still loves you. <coughs> I, we, they be like, I know Christmas. Some people, they know Christmas is pagan, and they still celebrate it. They'll be like, well, the church, they be like, well, the church incorporated it in so we could convert the pagans. You would think an old fool like that, but at least kind of relate to us, but. Nah. You know, but he's a homeless, broke fool. Oh, you didn't hear him down the street? You said something in the scripture about a heathen. He's like, hey, they call y'all a heathen. You want to take that? He called y'all a heathen. And they some guy. some heathens. But check this out. So the Bible says that you cannot, so you cannot be a follower of God and celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas at the same time. It, it don't work like that. Because right. Christmas, and Thanksgiving both are pagan in origin. First Corinthians 10 and 21. Ye cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of the devils. So you can't, so I'm a Christian, but I celebrate Christmas. Well, Christmas is pagan. That's the worshiping of Saturn, the planet Saturn. That's against the Bible. I'm gonna get a scripture to tell you. You can't worship planets. That's against the Bible. It's that Deuteronomy 18, right? Or 17. Whatever. It's one of them. They get, people get so mad at you. Yeah, we, don't, we, did, we did a good work today. You got scriptures racing through my mind. I'm so angry. Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 17 and 2. If there be found among you within any of thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that have wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord and transgressing his covenant, and have gone and served other gods. So when you celebrate Christmas, you following another god. You worshiping Saturn, you worshiping Cronus. Because Christmas has nothing to do with the Bible. December 25th is not in the Bible. It is too. And have gone and served other gods and worshiped them, either the sun or the moon or any host of heaven, which I have not commanded. But in America, they allow that shit. You know why? Because they got that first amendment which says uh, you can have whatever religion you want. You can worship Satan. You can worship Buddha, 
You can be a Buddhist. Well, I guess you don't worship Buddha. You can be a Buddhist. You can be a damn Hindu. You can worship Shiva. You can be a Satanist. You know, Satanists, they got to sacrifice children. You can worship Marduk. You can do anything you want in America. But the Bible doesn't say that. It says if you're going to serve other gods and worship them, either the sun or the moon and any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. And here's the punishment for following other gods and for following the ways of the heathen. Here's the punishment for that. And if it be told thee now has heard of it and inquired diligently, and behold, it be true and that thing certain that such an abomination is wrought in Israel, then thou shalt bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and thou shalt stone them with stones until they die. So you're supposed to get put to death for that. So celebrating Christmas is the worshiping of Saturn. And actually, it's, back in the ancient world, the festival of Saturnalia, it would last for like a week during the time of Christmas. It would build up, they would worship Saturn. Then on the final day, on December 25th, they would worship Sol Invictus, or they would worship the sun. It all has, it all has to do with astrology, okay? But just, just know, this says you can't worship the planets or the sun. But it said, in the mouth of two, two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. But at the mouth of what witness he shall not be put to death. Mm. But we're not going to put anybody to death. So now our job, even though you're supposed to die, you're worthy of death. The scriptures on that in the New Testament, we're worthy of death, right? Because we're all worthy of death. Because we already broke that commandment before. And, uh, and the, the Bible says if you break that, you got to get put to death. It didn't say if you uh, uh, broke it and then repented. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that. That's when the Lord came up when the... Oh, I want you to go by. That's why the Lord, the Lord sent Yahweh Shai to save us from the punishment of the law. Okay? So that's why he sent his son. Because if he never sent the Messiah, we have to pay that punishment of death. Okay? So that's so that's why that's why he sent his son. There you go. To, to, what's that? Redeem us from the law, right? <laughs> that's right. Uh, go ahead. Um, this is uh, Philippians 3 and 17. Brethren. Is that is that Leonard? That's Leonard. That's motherfucking Leonard. Okay, can't, you can't you can't fake that walk. <laughs> sure can. Be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you weeping. Oh yeah. That they What's are up, the homie? enemies of the cross up, of Yahweh Shah. What's up, bro? Right. Long I was time no see. But I didn't have my phone on me. Yeah. How you doing? We What's saw up, him during the summer. What's up, man? What was that? What was that festival that was going on? Oh, the uh, oh, I, I get a song uh, out there. Confest, confest. The confest. 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 Yeah, right. <laughs> Who? Who? You guys are out here. Hell yeah, we are cursing these fools out. We never, we We're fools. Hate. Man, we we see some demons come on. We don't curse out some demons today. But they flowing, man. They flowing back and forth. Are they invisible or what? No, they ain't that many people, but we had some demons come up today. They out here. You out here? What you out here? You ain't out celebrating Thanksgiving, are you? No, I'm just, I got some stuff in my mind. What's on your mind, man? Not a problem. Huh? I was that time, time. Glenn Beck got you thinking. Things ain't as buttery as you. No, that's how, that's, that's funny though. You, no. <laughs> I can't believe. You ain't gonna get you Obama win, phone? Come on, man. That's just that we told you Obama was going to win two years ago. <laughs> right. Really? We've been known that. I thought he it's all set up, bro. Painful, there's man. there's uh, no elections, man. It's all a shame. It'll be slow economy for four more years. It's all it's all it's set it up. Mitt Romney works for Obama. No, he don't. Man, yes, he does. It's all the same family, man. It's all the, it's same, all the same. Don't you know all the presidents all descend from the same Abomini. family? Abomini. Abomini. Huh? All Abomini. the presidents all descend from the same family. They're all goddamn devils. So you're saying Obama's related They're to all, the They're all, all, yes. Romney and his mama are devils. I know. Oh, they said all the people. The people that voted for him are devils. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, if you voted for Romney, yeah, you did. Why you voted for anybody that's a devil? <laughs> yeah. Did you I was vote? trying to get that dude Hell to say no, I didn't vote. You don't look like voting. That shit's fake. No, no, I didn't even bother to vote. It's not real. Here you go. I got something open to Oh, yeah, I seen you do Glenn Beck the day after. I was listening. He's on a radio show. I listen to his radio show every day in the morning. Comes on at 9 in the morning, 9 to 12. 
I listen to it because he, he brings out some good information. What did he but say the day him? after the election, though, he was crying. <laughs> He was Physically crying. crying. He really was crying, crying like a little bitch. I was about to cry too. <laughs> I don't like Obama. You serious? Yeah, I mean, this will be so oh, for it's, four more years. It just doesn't matter who it, if it was Obama or Romney. Romney yeah. had all the money on his side, man. You like them smooth yeah. words Obama come out with? I don't. I never listened to them smooth words. You say you think Obama ain't got no money? Shit, Obama is the greatest president man. ever. A billionaire. You say what? He's a president. Everyone says Obama is the greatest president <laughs> ever. <laughs> Thing. Obama's a president. People into voting for him. He, trust me, he's got billions. Shit, he gave he gave out cell phones. What did Romney give out? Yeah, he was busting people to the polls. That was actually Bush that started the cell phone. Yeah, I can't believe he won, man. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, you did hear about I a got suit me an Look, Obama check this phone. Out. The good point. I hate Obama too. Everybody hates Obama. But uh, the, all, I don't know if it was like the day after, but shortly after Obama won the election. Here in Ohio, they said they cutting everybody's food stamps by $50. Is that about the first time or the second No, it just happened. They just announced it. Well, people got their food stamps cut down. But right after Obama got elected, they announced right it. Every, everybody's food stamps in Ohio got cut by $50. And, no. it's, and it kicks in it, it kicks in, in January. Starting in January, everybody's food stamps are getting cut by $50. All right. That's that change. I wish I was on food stamps. <laughs> but, um, but, well, soon you're going to have to have a microchip in you to get that. They say 75% of Obama's vote that. was on food stamps. Glenn Beck ain't never told you about the microchip. So he was crying, really, physically yeah. crying. What he was, was he saying? He made a little bit. He's just reading the Declaration he of Independence, all kinds of shit. taking us to socialism, man. That's what he's crying about. He likes China, how China's running. Hell yeah. Obama, yeah, but we don't like how China's running. We don't matter what we like. We don't have any growth like he China. Likes he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he works for he works for them Jews. So Jews, the Jews are communists. Who do you think started the Bolshevik Revolution? You know about that? The who? The, the Soviet Union, the communist Soviet Union, that was created by Jews, fake Khazarians. You know the Khazars are? You ever hear the Khazarian Empire over there in Central Europe? I've heard about it, but okay. I mean, I've probably heard of it, but I don't right. know about it. The Soviet Union was created by Jews, okay? There was communism. The Jew, uh, communism was a creation of the fake Jews. They're not the real, you're a real Jew. Okay? But them fake Jews, they're the creators of communism. It's, it's, it's that one, that's what they're going to use for that one world government. They're trying to take America down. They want to take everyone's weapons now, too. So that's the, that's the next step is to take everybody's guns. From my dead really. plan. And that, bring that microchip in. I don't know what's going to come first. But they're gonna try to disarm us. They ain't putting no microchip in me. I saw that in a movie or something. Mm -hmm. it, that's why they put it in the movies. They get you ready for it. <laughs> who, who runs Hollywood? Right. The fucking right. Jews. Jewish, right. They own everything. Everything. But um, here you go, brother. Read this. Oh, go ahead. Deuteronomy 17 and uh, 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say. I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about thee. Yeah, because originally we didn't even have kings. Our king was the most high. Keep going. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. One of, among thy brethren. One among our brothers. Okay. Shalt thou set king over thee. So you're not supposed to put a king over you from another nation. And like Bob was a hammer. Obama's a Hamite and Mitt Romney's a goddamn Edomite. Two heathens. Okay. And we're, the history I don't of think Edomites. Working together, man. Mitt Romney don't like Obama. Did, did, did you watch those? Uh, uh, the uh, come on, what was that? That was a joke. It, it was a, it was a sham. It was all. The first one was a joke. It was all theater. It was like watching. The first one was theater. I guess. It was like watching a game show. It's or like something. The, all of it is reality. It's like rea It was so mm -hmm. fake, man. It was like it wasn't even really talking about nothing. Right. They all avoided like certain shit, like the war, like uh, it, it was. It was like it was all scripted. Right, right. It, both sides was scripted. It was all scripted. That's why they do it, though, man. Nah, I don't think they were come on, no. come on, bro. Do you think? It, do, do you think like the, the controllers all. behind the scenes they got too much at stake, so they have to fix the election? The elections are fixed. Don't you know they said uh, a lot of precincts in Ohio reported 99 percent of all votes were for Obama. But that, that's proof that what not, not, a lot of precincts did report that before uh, because I mean, nobody votes 100% on Obama. There's got to be a couple in there. 
Yeah, and, mean, and it's all Republicans voted. I was watching a video the other day where a dude was giving a testimony here in Ohio. This is a couple years back though. But he's a computer programmer, but he uh bear witness in court and he stated that he programmed voting machines to rig the elections. He was a computer programmer. Did he show his face? Yeah, he showed his face. He get on YouTube. Why should he should be put in jail then? Why? He was no. just only doing his job. He was doing Listen his job. With his fraud, man. It's but no, no, but right. But he, but he, uh, he can't clean though. So he probably had, a, he probably got a plea bargain. So I don't know. Right. But, but nothing's gonna happen to him because they don't want that truth coming out anyway. They don't want you to know that the elections are rigged. Yeah, they said um, they saw these voting machines that all had been tampered with. Of course. Only like a hundred of them. Well, they, they got to be tampered with because they don't. They wasn't even counting the votes anyway. Right. Like uh, soon, soon as the polling station closed, they're like Obama won. That's Obama right. had his speech wrote days before. They didn't even count the votes. I mean, you know what I mean? look at it, they didn't. As soon as, as, they, they, closed. The as, soon as the they closed. As soon as they closed. As soon as they closed. Yeah, Romney had almost half the votes. Obama had That's all bullshit, had though. Half the votes. You know, fuck Romney, too, though. He's you a fat. trust in this guy or his system or anything in the office. That's well, just they act like everybody is. voted for Obama. That's not the case. Well, most, actually, most people, I think, I think a lot of people do, like the people that are real asleep, they really love Obama. They really, that's, that's their safety. But it you know? really doesn't matter who did money, right? Yeah, they, 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 he ain't giving them nothing. He just cut their food stamps. <laughs> but yeah, that's how like he does you. But the point is, it don't matter who would have got in anyway. The course would have stayed the It'd same. be the same exact no, thing. Yes, it was. The same Since exact thing. Side, they no. were more willing. Now, after the holidays, the economy going to slow down again. You know, I guarantee you Man, that. these people have no control over nothing, man. It's the people that control the money who got this thing. That's what I'm saying. And all the money was on Romney's side. Uh, no, the money's not on Obama, oh, not on Obama's Obama side. This time. They work for the same people. Right. Mm -hmm. They both work they for the... Wall Street. CNN said Wall Street was on Romney's side this time. They're not for Obama oh, this time. He's going to say Wall Street's, Wall Street's <laughs> definitely with Obama because he's no, in the White House. They, was, <laughs> they were with him the first time, but not the they, second time. No, they used to me. They with him. With that Obama that's that, care, that's that bullshit they, everybody away. That's that bullshit they put Listen, on the news for you, man. They both are the same people. That's that both of them have to It's just the sports thing. You choosing which team, yeah. and they're playing mind games with yeah, you. Yeah, like sports is all fixed. It's just playing mind games with you. You know, they already dummy down, made so you feel like you're a woman. Out. Come on, man. And sports you know, is no more real than WWE wrestling. Right. How can Ohio State who is, come on, man, in the critical time that we're in right now, you have to keep the people stupid and dumb and sleep. So that's why they rigging this shit through the rest and shit to make sure these people are undefeated right now. Because, I, and they're not a top team like that. Because they they're not a talented because team. They can't go to the BCS. That's but, why but I always say the best example.